Okay, hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to deploy your application that you built in Flutterflow. You deploy it to the web and also download the APK version so that you can run it on your Android device. Okay, so um, this is a very specific tutorial and it's going to be very short. So I, I'm going to direct you on how to do it. So let's say you finish building your application like this Logino application, right? And then you want to be able to view the application on the web. How do you do it? How do you go about doing it? Okay, so what you do, basically, you have to come to uh, the settings icon here in Flutterflow, all right? And then you click on it, tap on it. And what you need to do is you have to go ahead and then, first of all, for these I have already turned it on, but the very first step that you need to do is um, you have to come to uh, platforms, all right, and turn on this particular button, web, all right, enables deep linking. You have to turn it on. And then after you've turned it on, you come to web publishing. And then you won't see this particular information in yours if I tell you've not done it for this particular project, right? All you just need to do is after turning on turning these on web on on platforms, you come to uh, web publishing, and then you you see a button here that says publish. So you click to publish. You wait for I think two to four minutes, and then you will have the same thing that I have here, and you can click it, and it will take you to the web version of your application and of course for you to see it properly you can hit on key f12 on your you know on your keyboard or you can i think it's function f12 however it works on your systems but the 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 call to action is you need to click on f12 okay and then from there you have your application you can copy this particular url and send it to your friend to your client to see how the application looks like and feels like okay so that's how to do for web publishing. Now, the second part is how do you download the APK version of your application? Now, that's quite simple too. What you need to do is you have to just come here to these icon here and click on it and you will see different things. So you can view code, you can connect the GitHub repository, you can download code, you can download APK. So this is what we want to do. We want to download APK. So how do you do it? Just click on the button and it will tell you this will take two to four minutes your apk will be downloaded when finished now uh you will just wait uh it says you can navigate away from the screen but i would like us to just wait and take a look at it until it is done downloading the apk file so it says two to four minutes so we will see how fast that goes okay so um and then also if i told you want to you know maybe just view your code uh connect to github repository download code you can do all of that here so i can click here to view code all right so uh it's going to show me a couple of codes that have been that that makes apl my application run so the codes that you see here they are you know um they are basically dart like they are in prog uh, dart programming language okay and which is the programming language that the flutter framework runs on and flutter flow runs on the flutter framework and runs on the dart programming language okay so these are like the codes that makes these my application to run so you can actually click here to copy it and take it to your you know your code editor and hello guys i believe that you have you know been able to get like some massive value from watching this tutorial and i want you to do me a big favor just punch that like icon on your screen just punch it for me and then click on the notification button so that whenever i post a video you will be able to see it and also please for more videos like this type just click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this youtube channel see you in the next video thank you use it there it's really beautiful guys like imagine these are the lines that you would have created and written to be able to produce this and so this is for login this is for uh, for pop spec YAML, right? So uh, I'm just trying to see how I can just show you a couple of things, and then Firebase rules, Firestore rules, uh, Firestore index JSON files, you know, the API pad. So this is like the beautiful thing about Flutterflow. So you can see the codes and you know play around with it. Okay, so let's just uh, go back and see what else we can play around with. So that was for view code and you can connect to your GitHub repo. I wouldn't do that. This video doesn't cover that right now. 
so then we are currently downloading the apk so it says here build apk succeeded if you're having trouble blah 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 so now something happened here it is uh, always allow pop-up so you need to i think my browser blocks pop-up so i will just say allow uh pop-ups right so i think i will just right click in this storage that google da, 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 da. so i can just click on this it now downloads the the file for me right so the file is currently being downloaded uh let's come back here and uh so i can say continue allowing this site to see the clipboard allow always blocking so i think i'll just click on done to always allow it so this is it login or release that apk so you can transfer this to your uh to your phone and run it from there it works perfectly uh, all right i believe that you've been able to get like super value from this video just help me click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and uh give me a huge thumbs up uh and then of course turn on the notification bell now if you can't do this can achieve this on your own project it simply means that you do not have you 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 do not have like access to it that means you've not you're not a a, a a premium subscriber to flutterflow so you need to like uh subscribe to a plan so um i have a special access uh extremely yes i have uh, a special access to flutterflow so that's that's like how why i can you know do all of this right so uh that's it so if you don't have a special access you won't be able to like download uh the the apk file or view code and all of that okay so you need to like go to the uh, pricing and see the one that you can afford and then you know go around with it okay so you can always try to check out yearly billing so, sorry annual billing so that you can get some discounts all right guys i believe that you got some value for the this particular session and uh i hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you very much